Welcome to Electron Online, and here's an example of how to try to take an equation that may not at all look like a circle and see if we can turn it into the right format so we can draw it as a circle. At first, you may look at this and go, there's no way that this represents an equation of a circle. But if you can make it look like that, it is a circle. So we look at this and say, aha, this is a trinomial that could be factored and perhaps put as a binomial squared. And this is a trinomial that looks like it could be factored and make it look like a binomial squared. So let's try that. So here we could write this as, looks like x plus 3 times x plus 3, because when you multiply this together, 3 times 3 gives me 9, and 3x plus 3x gives me 6x. So that looks like the factored form of that. And then here you say, well, that's the same as, writing this as y minus 2 times y minus 2. And this could be written as 3 squared. Now it's starting to look a lot more like the equation of a circle. Now if we write it into a different form, combining this and write it as x plus 3 quantity squared plus y minus 2 quantity squared equals 3 squared, now we realize we have it into the general form of the equation of a circle where the center circle is not at the origin. Remember, if the center of the circle is at the origin, the equation would have the form x squared plus y squared equals r squared. That would be the center at the origin. All right, let's go ahead and graph this now. There's our x, y axis, y, x, k. First of all, we want to find the center. The center is located at the h, k value. But notice that you need a negative h to, to get a, a negative sign here to get a positive h. A positive sign there gives you a negative h. So the center would be located at negative 3 and positive 2. So it's always the reverse of the signs. Well, let's find this. x equal negative 3 is to the left, 1, 2, 3 units. And positive 2 in the y direction is like this. So the center would be right there. Now the radius. The radius here is r squared, or in this case is 3. The radius is 3. That means it comes all the way down to there, to there. So it looks like the circle looks kind of like this. Notice that the radius in a direction is 3. And the center is at minus 3 and positive 2. And that's the circle that is represented by this equation. Even though at the first sight it doesn't look like it, if you can make it look like this in the general format, you have a circle off-center at the location minus 3 and 2. And that's how we do that.